Nitasha Cole, an Indian-born UK professor, was denied entry into the country and deported from the airport after being invited by the Congress government for a seminar. I'm Barkha Dad, you're with the Mojo Story. Today, we're looking at the case of Professor Nitasha Cole. She has been a fierce critic of the abrogation of Article 370, as well as of the RSS and Hindu nationalism. Now she says that she's being punished for that criticism. She is a holder OCI card, but when she landed in Karnataka at the invitation, by the way, of the Karnataka Congress government, authorities decided that she had to be deported. The BJP has attacked the Congress for the invitation that was sent by the Karnataka government. Karnataka Congress leaders are saying that this is a violation of free speech. A Congress MLA said this is not dictatorship. Academics have a right to their points of view. But the BJP in Karnataka has gone hammer and tong at the Siddharamaya government for the fact that this invite was issued at all. They have pointed to Cole's earlier statements, earlier papers as an academic, where she has spoken, quote unquote, of India being or acting like a colonizing power in Kashmir. The BJP is arguing that Natasha Cole is an anti-India voice, a pro-Pakistani sympathizer. Supporters of Ms. Cole are saying that she's an academic who has the right to her point of view, even if you disagree with it. Is this a free speech issue or is this about the country opting to keep somebody out who they believe is inimical to the country's interests? To talk about this highly politicized subject now, this is now a full blown battle between the BGP and the Congress. Let's introduce our guests. We have a, a, a big panel, an interesting panel on the program today. First up, joining us from the U.S. today is uh, author and commentator Ornab Ray. It's your first time, Ornab, so welcome to the Mojo Story. It's good to have you with us. General Katoch, military veteran, uh, is with us. Always a pleasure, sir, and welcome to the program. Also joining us from the BJP today, and remember the BJP Karnataka, as I said, has gone hammer and talk for the government. Uh, let's introduce Prashant, uh, if we can bring him into the box now. Uh, we have uh, we have Prashant uh, with us. So welcome to the program, uh, Prashant Ji. Also joining us is a leading industrialist, uh, always a, 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 an agent provocateur. Uh, he's been tweeting all day on this issue, but Karnataka is also his home state, Mohandas Pai. It's good to have you with us. Also joining us from Karnataka is Asad Abbas, uh, who's of course a political analyst, also from Karnataka. Welcome. Sanjay Cha, bitter critic of the government, former Congress spokesperson is with us. Welcome, Sanjay. And finally, from the Congress, Karnataka, it's official spokesperson Sati Prakash is also with us. Namaskar and welcome to the program. Before we get deep into the politics of this, Mohandas Pai, I'll start with you. Uh, I know you love your city of Bengaluru. I, you're, you know, you're a Karnataka, leading Karnataka voice. The argument could be made that you can disagree with everything Natasha Kaul has said. Uh, more, very few people would have even heard of Miss Kaul till 24 hours ago. With this action, you have actually A, made her a talking point, not you, but the government has made her a talking point. Uh, B, people have the right to express an opinion that you can fiercely disagree with. That's all part of being a democracy. Why have you tweeted today, as you have, in support of the action taken by central authorities to send Miss Cole back to the United Kingdom? Mohandas Spai, I'll start with you. You know, Barka, all of us support freedom of expression. Freedom of expression means you can you have the freedom to speak, you allow freedom to speak. Look at Natasha. She is one of those people who wrote a letter to Wharton to say Modi should not be allowed to come and speak. Where is freedom of expression? She blocks people on Twitter. Where is freedom of expression? She hobnobs with the ISI, Pakistani ISI gang in the US, where she goes to seminars and takes the Pakistan ISI line regarding her uh, tweets and her writings about Kashmir. Now, she's coming for a constitutional day event in Karnataka where they're talking about protecting the constitution. The constitution says Kashmir is an integral part of India. She denies that. She denies that. She abuses India. She abuses everybody. Now, an academic is a person who does research on data, who is not an ideologue, who takes one-sided issues, and who does not hob thing, hobnob with people who are funded by terrorist gangs and terrorist countries like Pakistan and does not go get money from George Soros and others to tow their line. Now, she fails as an academic. And when you fail as an academic, you are abusive, you take one line, you are not reasonable to look at all issues and come to a conclusion. What are you supposed to do? 
There's nothing to do with freedom of expression. She can go back, tweet, write whatever rubbish she does. She, everybody will read it. She can go to any seminar. I mean, it's just that we don't want her in a country at this point of time. I think that's perfectly legitimate, perfectly okay. We don't have to go outside to roll the red carpet to people who throw knives at us, abuse us, deny us existence. She has denied the Pandit Holocaust despite being a Pandit. No, come on, Babarka. Can anybody deny the Jewish Holocaust? You know what countries will do to them? She has denied the Pandit Holocaust. She has not spoken in Pakistan for the terrorism in Kashmir and says she's a Kashmir expert. Kashmir has a problem. Problem of disgruntlement of people, terrorism from Pakistan, you know, jihadism, all kind of thing. She's taken a one-sided view that India is the oppressor state. India is this, blah, blah, blah. I want to end by one more thing, Barka. You know, you, you, know, you, know, you know an academic, you and I know this famous academic, you know, he's in a U.S. university. He wrote an article after 2014 saying Modi ran a great campaign. Then he met me six months later and he told me, Mohan, after writing the article, when I came to Delhi, nobody met me. People called me a bug. People abused me, taking Modi's side. Then he went back to the U.S., shot on Modi, pardon the language, wrote all kind of abuses. Now he's part of the network. So this is a gang and a network. She's part of that. I think he's Let right. We don't have to allow her inside. Okay, brief, very briefly before I open it up, Mohandas Pai, uh, you know, you, you you argue that her politics on Kashmir are not in sync uh, with, with India's interests. My question to you is there may be people within India who also think like her, uh, who, who, who believe that Kashmir is a political problem, that abrogating 370 may or may not uh, solve the roots of that problem, and that you need dialogue and there may be Indians who think like this. We're not going to say, please no, go agree. back or, or please go away. Indians, right? Indians in India are Indian citizens. We have to protect the rights at all costs. She's not an Indian citizen. She's a UK citizen. You know, let us, let us Indians should speak. See, you have been a harsh critic of anything going wrong in Kashmir. You have covered Kashmir for 30 years. You've gone to met the terrorists. You have taken great risks. I have met no terrorists. Terrorist. I have met no, no, no terrorists, by the way. No, yeah. no, you, see, Barka, there, not many people like you have an understanding of the Kashmir issue. And you've been very fair. You condemn terrorism. You have spoken about the trouble of the Kashmiri people. You've spoken about the genocide against the thing. You have been very balanced. Is she balanced? And she's towing the line of ISI. And she, I think she's funded by ISI because, uh, you know, the American Muslim Association or something. She's part of the entire network. You can see with whom she's obnobbing. We owe no obligation to her. Indian citizens... We have full obligation. They have right of freedom of expression. We must protect the right, even if we don't agree with whatever government says or anybody says. We must protect them. That's our okay. law. Okay. 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 You you have set the you have set the framework for the for the conversation. Let's open this up. I want to go to Sanjay Jha uh, right away, and I would ask you a political question. And my political question will be, before I come to the BJP and the Congress officially, why is the Congress expending political capital on an academic whose views are certainly left, uh, if that's the nomenclature, uh, on Kashmir, certainly not in sync with the mainstream? You can have two views on whether somebody should be deported for having a contrarian view. But let's not forget that she was there in Karnataka at the invitation of the Karnataka Congress government. I'm curious to know how you see, uh, how you see that invitation, Sanjay. Uh, Barkha, my, my brief answer, number one, you are dealing with a BJP in government who called a very respectable police officer in West Bengal because he happened to be a Sikh. They called him a Khalistani. This is a political party which is, I think, viscerally insecure. I mean, to believe that this great democracy in this country is under threat because of an academic from UK coming to India on the invitation of the Karnataka government, tells you at the end of the day the problem with the entire right-wing ecosystem. I'll give you another example. My friend Mohan Das talked about Kashmir. One of the biggest critiques of Article 370 has been the late and probably the most eminent legal luminary of our times, Fali S. Nariman, who was very mm -hmm. critical of the Supreme Court judgment on Article 370. So was Fali Nariman an anti-national? I mean, what kind of a preposterous and atrocious conversation is this? I want to give you another example. End of day, you have the Chief Justice of India. And this is not the Congress Party or not a supporter of the liberal secular uh, structure of this country. The Chief Justice of India had to comment that in India, you're seeing a mockery of democracy and the murder of democracy. 
in I'll Chandigarh mayor elections, not in three seventy. Yeah, I'm, no, 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 I'm, 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 everything is correlated. I'll give you an example. Go back to when Modi came into power. You had you had a Greenpeace activist called Priya Pillai. If anybody will remember, she was offloaded in a very similar circumstance because apparently she was going to be critical of India in London. I mean, this is not. I think it's about time we stop beating about the bush. This is a dicto dictatorial autocratic government. This is a government. This is a government which actually has brutally throttled the freedom of the press. Okay, we all know it. We all know it, and I'm not done yet. And here is the point: look at the Center of Policy Research harassed, Oxfam harassed, Amnesty International harassed. I mean, what kind of a government do we have? I think the truth of the matter is this: that end of day, even as you rightly asked. No, Mohan, no, no. I think. Uh, Prashanti, one minute. I'm coming. Uh, Prashanti, give me a second. I'm coming to you right uh, after okay. Sanjay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So okay. let, 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 let yeah. me speak. The BBC puts out a documentary on Narendra Modi and the Gujarat 2002 riots, and what do they do? They have a tax raid on the BBC. I think the BJP has condemned India into a situation where the world sees us today as a democratically elected dictatorship or an elected autocracy. And let's be okay. honest, there is no freedom. The legacy of Narendra Modi is going to be hate, fear, and anxiety in this country. Okay, let me bring in Prashant of the BJP. There are several of you today. We have a larger panel than usual, so please be patient. I promise to give all of you absolutely equal time. Prashant ji of the BJP, do go ahead. The BJP in Karnataka has slammed the Siddaramaiah government for the invitation to miss call. Let me ask you the same question. Even at a conference, everybody doesn't have to agree. A good, robust conference can have several disagreements. An OCI card holder has has certain rights, right? I agree with Mr. Pai. It's not the same as citizenship, but why are you endorsing the deportation of a person because of her views? I I, I want to understand that you, in fact, called her a Pakistani sympathizer. You said the chief minister is challenging the constitution. Prashant ji, go ahead, please. No, Barka, you have reported at Kargil at length. all of us have seen that because maybe i was in school then when i grew up seeing those debates what you've done in kargil on the yes. peak of uh, in 1999 which means you are obsessed with journalism correct and to do yes. to do the right thing and yes. i believe anjay ja a dismissed congressman was obsessed with congress and its ideologies major is obsessed with india and its security mohan pai is obsessed with good politics and A good administration. I'm surely Syed Abbas will be obsessed with good infrastructure and good thing. But Nita Shah Kaul talks about India's obsession with Kashmir. Where is that? Kashmir is an integral part of India. Somebody talking about Kashmir not being part of India and talking about saying India claims that Jammu Kashmir is part of it. What sort of people are we trying to bring in here? And if anybody on the panel is willing to support it by saying. it is not a democratic government here let me remind sanjay ja of his good old days in congress and with statistics that indira gandhi imposed emergency 50 times 50 okay from 1966 january to march 1977 35 times and from january 1980 to october 1984 15 times and his good friend rajiv gandhi six times one second sir one second narsim narsim rao 11 times manmohan singh who often spoke but invoked article 356 12 times which means congress has been the forefront of murdering democracy all of us know what has happened through uh, emergency so therefore at I, no point in time congress i only want to i only leave it i only want to understand from you very briefly sanjay give me a second that in one mm -hmm. sentence prashant ji why do, why do you believe one minute one minute why do you believe miss call should have been sent back from the airport that's all i want to ask you right now why, why do you believe why that? not anybody who doesn't believe in the sovereignty of the country Are you saying that we'll bring enemies from across the border? Tell them, come here. We will extend your hospitality and to abuse us and go. This is not the Congress Sarkar which probably wanted to feed biryani to terrorists. We are a strong-willed government, and we will ensure that India's borders are protected and India's sovereignty is protected at all times. We will not okay. let any anti-national mindset or anti-national to step on our soil and say abuse our country and get back. I just I also want, at all. 
Okay, now I'm going to request those who've spoken to hold on. Sanjay, do you have one sentence? Because there are others waiting to speak. One sentence, Jha. Yeah, go ahead, Sanjay. Just, one, yeah. just one, one sentence. I don't want to respond to the outrageous rubbish that this gentleman has spoken. Can you imagine, it is Bartha? Fact. Sanjay, it is a fact. Okay, okay. One at you. Congress one always one feels facts are outrageous. Okay, okay, okay. When I speak. Prasha, 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 let, let one, one at a time. Please, request yeah. to all of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Barkha, what a disgrace to democracy the BJP is. You remember the farmer's stir? They sent cops to Bang. I'm glad we're talking about Bangalore. They sent cops to arrest a 22-year-old girl called Disha Ravi. I mean, what a mockery of democracy these guys have made India completely. And, so, you know, so, and, 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 and Barkha, let, let me tell you, huh. he talks of national security. Manipur is still burning. And the Prime Minister of India... Yeah. Hasn't even Please ask your, okay, your TMC government to arrest Shaja and Sheikh. What I'm sort of democracy you're talking about okay. here? Okay, okay, okay. Prashant and Sanjay. Sanjay Prashant and Sanjay To say okay, that... Oh, Barka, give me a moment. Let Sanjay Jha talk to this. his good friend. Let Sanjay Jha talk to his good friend, Mamta Banerjee. And let Saja and Sheikh be arrested. They okay, don't have the guts to go and arrest a person who's abusing the... Yeah. Now, Sanjay and Prashant will have to be quiet for a few minutes so that the others can speak and we can take this conversation forward. The fact is that we have not had any government having a stellar record on free speech. Books have been banned on the watch of both governments, including on the watch of state governments. We are not a society or a political culture that takes free speech very seriously as a principle. Let's Let's talk facts. Let this is, you know, emergency in Congress, book bans in BJP, Salman Rajdi in, in, you know, at, at, at one time. There are books that can be quoted from both, uh, you know, regimes that have been banned and so on. Let's move on. This is also a political debate. And Satya Prakash, my question is the same that I tried to ask to Sanjay Jha. He's no longer officially representing the party. You are. Please explain to me, whatever be your views on sending Natasha call back, why would a Cong why would a party two months before elections, invite somebody who calls India a colonizing force in Kashmir, two months before elections. And by the way, I ask you this on a day when it's five years of the Balakot strikes, right? I am keen to understand the political thought behind this invitation. Mr. Prakash. But, Mr. Prakash, but I, you want I, I can't to understand you. Modi, BJP and the RSS party. One second. Am I audible? The BJP and Modi. Am I audible? Go ahead, sir. Hello. Am I audible? Yeah. Yes. Modi and BJP. For the friends, the second friends. No, sir. Your line is very good. Let know. me take it. Your line isn't very good. I'm sorry. I, I request you to reconnect. In the meantime, General Katoch is a military veteran on the five, uh, you know, on the anniversary mark of the Balakot strike. I will frame the question differently to you. The army has often been the most generous voice in Kashmir, even though it pays the maximum price with its own soldiers at the front line because it understands the need for peace. I, I have seen this personally. Uh, and therefore, it has learned the army with a generous heart to accommodate all manners of opinion as it tries to keep the peace. You can disagree with every single word that Natara Kohl has said. Do you agree with sending her back? General Katoj. Thank you, Barkha. <clears throat> Barkha, I want to make it very clear. What Natasha has been saying earlier is totally unacceptable. And I feel that her being sent back is a correct decision. Uh, I'm, firstly, I'm very surprised that she has been invited. Now, you know, right from the 50s, I've been in Kashmir. Uh, that 50s, was, of course, I was a very small kid when my father was there. And then I have served continuously in Kashmir in many, many tenures. I've been active on the front line. And one thing which I found during my service was, so long as Article 3 was there, you can keep the situation reasonably stable, but you can never resolve the issue. 370 had to go because there are, I don't want to get into those. Those I've written in great detail about it. But you see, you had to break the linkages which existed for a very long time. And with 370, uh, with the provisions of 370 going, those linkages were broken. And now the repair work has started. Many people say that, OK, 370 has gone. Why isn't there peace yet? Well, now there will be peace. It will come. It will take time. It will come. 
But without 370 going, it could never have come. Now, you know, uh, for a person, uh, let me just give an example. Let us say if somebody goes to the United States and starts giving a lecture in one of their, uh, you know, uh, 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 some state and writes them in an official lecture, that the 9-11 bombings, you know, the, it's a good thing. It, it is a good thing the Twin Towers were brought down and the Pentagon was hammered. Will that person be arrested? I think that person won't see the light of the day for the next 30 years. What happens if somebody goes to, you know, some other country, you know, and uh, let us say you go to Israel and you say that the Holocaust didn't happen. Now, this sort of denial, I think, is unacceptable. No country accepts it. But India has been accepting it. The genocide which has taken place of the Kashmiri is real. I have seen it. It is real. That our intellectuals and the media did not take it up at that point of time. You see this lopsided way in which we cover events. Godra, okay, Godra shouldn't have happened. Everybody talks that Godra shouldn't have happened. I haven't heard one commentator say why that train was burnt. And it, it started with that burning of a train where innocents were killed. But everybody kept a very dignified silence on that. That is the problem. Okay, this you, OCI, you, yeah, sorry. No, no, just, no, no. The question is, anybody... India, well, you, you, I, I, I hear in the think tank that I work with, I hear very divergent views. I'm quite prepared to hear them. I have absolutely no problems. But I see no reason to invite people to this country who are going to spit and abuse on us. And in that way, uh, Mr. Pai, I totally, I'm in total conformity with them. Barka. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, I know Satya Prakash is back, but I wanted to bring in Ornab Bray because he's in the United States and a reference has been made. What would other countries do? The truth is, Ornab, uh, the First Amendment is something pretty sacred in, in, in the U.S. Uh, and India has had a different political culture historically. This is not true of the BJP. This has been as true under the Congress. There are There is a kind of inbuilt respect for constitutional positions. In, in America, late night TV, the, the, you know, the president can be mocked, can be memed. Here, we would not do that. We, there is just a difference history, different history. Now, I think we have to separate from the invite and whether that was smart politically to the deportation as to whether that was necessary. Let me get your take because I think you made some of those distinctions in your commentary on social media. Ornab, yeah. go ahead. So first of all, I would just like to talk about the US. Um, I was in, I was a PhD student at Stony Brook, not 40 miles away from where 9-11 happened. And um, the, the thing, you know, we, there was, there was, what would US do? We went to Within a week of that happening, there was an event, there was a political event, and I had gone there expecting to hear, well, not what I heard, which was extreme criticism of America within like five days of the Twin Towers being brought down. I was surprised, shocked, and frankly repulsed by what mm -hmm. I heard there. But I realized that I was one of the very few people who felt that strongly, even though I had been an immigrant in the country for a few years. So. Standards of free speech vary from country to country, and we should not use the U.S. as a reference. I mean, I've done it before myself, but I realize it's not the right thing to do. Every country has their own standards of what free speech is. But coming to the commentary that I had made on social media, there, there are a few things. There's a procedural thing that I said uh, was important that in my interpretation of what the OCI card is, you cannot deny an OCI card. You can take away an OCI privilege. It's a privilege to be an OCI. It's not a right. But you cannot deny somebody entry into the country if the OCI card is valid. That is my interpretation. Again, I'm not a lawyer. That's the first though, point. Though, 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 can, I, can I interrupt you briefly to read the rules? The central government can cancel the OCI registration if the overseas citizen of India has shown disaffection towards the constitution of India as by law established and if it is necessary to do so in the interest of the sovereignty and integrity of India, the security of India, friendly relations of India with any foreign country. I'm just, I'm not saying this is good or bad. I'm just putting it out there. This is the rule in no, the OCI. The, the, the rules are the rules. So her OCI registration should have been cancelled. That's what I'm saying. If indeed yeah. we were not going to allow her in. That is, that is the point I'm trying to make. That's the first point. Second point is, I believe, again, that there's the Streisand effect. People like Dr. Call, um, their, their main, the, the, the whole Andolenji thing is to make a sensation. The fact that we are discussing her here has just made her international brand, by the way. So if we had just ignored her and allowed her to talk in 
an event that nobody would have listened to because it's Congress, um, not, none of this would have happened, right? We've just made her career, just like we have made other careers by doing so. That was, that was the point. Third thing that I had made was that it's really regrettable for me as an independent uh, person to see where the Congress has gone. Um, and I, I just saw Mr. Jha talk about West Bengal without referring to the elephant in the room, just a small thing. It is that they're willing to go to this level. Somebody who has this kind of opinion about India, it's not a political opinion. It is India as a colonizing power, that they would invite this person to come and speak. And I was just disappointed that they did so. Yeah. In many ways, Ornab, you capture the center, central point of this debate. Sanjay, just hold on for one more minute. That you disagree with the invitation that the Party of India's Freedom Movement should invite somebody uh, who, who questions uh, the integration, as it were, of Kashmir uh, disappoints you. But you disagree with the, with the, with the kind of heavy handed way in which she's been sent back. Uh, you're saying that if she flouts the rules of the constitution, then cancel her OCI card as long no, as she has that. to be done procedurally. The thing is, we should not do things willy-nilly. There should be a strategy if we believe okay. that she is. And I think there's a good case that she's against the constitution of India. And so there's a good case for her OCI to be cancelled. But not like this. Following the proper okay. rule. Okay. I was going to go to Asad, but I think we just lost him. So let me try. I hope Mr. Oh, there he is. Asad. And then Satya Prakash. Yeah, Asad, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Quickly, I'd like to make a point, uh, Barkha, you know, my good friend Prashant, the fellow Bangalorean, uh, you know, spoke about Congress having biryani with terrorists. Well, I don't know how Nawaz Sharif figures in his list from this uh, country of Pakistan. We know the prime minister who had the same with him. Now, coming straight to the point, I believe Barkha is a Bangalorean. Both of them have made a big mistake. The Congress for inviting Natasha Call and for BJP for sending her back. You know, very mm. funny movie I saw. I'm not too sure whether it is Idi Amin's words or not. You know, I promise you freedom of speech, but I don't promise freedom after speech. What mm. has happened here, Barkha? <laughs> we need to understand. Vijayendra Yadiyarappa, my friend Prashant. One second, Prashanti. One second, Prashanti. One second, one second. I can't see what you're showing me. Let him finish his point. All yeah, of okay. them would have been absolutely right to, to deport, protest, file a case against her. Had she spoken at the conference, which was about unity of India constitution, had she spoken and said anything against India, them going ahead, stopping this event, cancelling her, filing a case, arresting her would be the right thing to do. But BJP deporting her, what happens? Our great country, which, you know, uh, if you see the press index, the freedom of many questions would arise. Many questions. No, no, no. I think Abbas. Call, who I did not know, who I had to learn of her extreme, whereas I oppose Nitasha Call. I am not happy with Congress for inviting her to India, but deporting her without hearing her at the constitution is absolutely wrong. It only makes Nitasha Call a subject of controversy, gives her that uh, uh, public figure status. And it questions the BJP government. I think it's giving her the publicity which is not needed. That is my point, Barkha. Okay, I think I think in many yeah. ways your position. One minute yeah. might might capture the position of non-politicians. Bulaya kyu? Bulaya to bapes kyu? Bheja chhod dete. Wait and see what she did. Satya Prakash ji, we've been waiting to hear from you for a long time. Why did the Congress invite her? Prashant, I'll come to you right yeah. after that, Mr. Prakash. Congress invited her because she is a professor and she, is, she was from India and she has a political position regarding policies of this Modi government. BJP and Modi has forgotten the difference between state and nation. Just because this lady has spoken against Article 370, has spoken against Article has spoken against Modi, doesn't mean she has spoken against the country. You need to okay. clearly I'm, understand the difference between yeah. speaking against the policy of the state and speaking okay, against you're, the you're, country. You're, you're point number one. Mr. No Mr. way. Under property of federalism, one second. Please allow me. Yeah. Please. So the line is very bad. It's very, very bad. But I, India is. Mm -hmm. Mr. Prakash. Read, read, read. read. Am I talking about I can't hear you, but I can hear you enough to recap what you've said because we want your voice in the debate. You said the BJP has forgotten the dis distinction between state and nation. Government is not the same as country. I'm summarizing here for you because your line was bad and I want your point of view to come across. She's an, she's an established academic 
and there should be a diversity of opinion uh, you know i i hope i've done justice to capturing your essential argument and you believe she's being punished because she is a critic of the prime minister and of the bjp and you say that you cannot draw an equivalent between government and nation let's take that last part prashant to criticize the abrogation of 370 is not the same thing as being a pakistani sympathizer go ahead please respond now you've been waving some paper at me i don't yes, know yes, what yes. it is I know. Yeah. I just want to point out to this fellow uh, panelist about what Nitasha Kaur has written about India. Written testimony of Nitasha Kaur submitted in UK on 22nd October 2019. So therefore, what all the other panelists are saying that she is only having and no, her mindset and it stems from an anti-India mindset. He starts off by saying India claims Jammu Kashmir to be an integral part. But continues to show a profound contempt for the people of Kashmir. What nonsense is this? Are we trying to bring those people here, and then you want to have people here? You do want to hear her abuse constitution in India and say, "Look, now we'll have a process of law." We didn't want anti-national stepping here and talking this. And she also talks about even in recent years, the armed opposition to Indian occupation has been at lowest. What Indian occupation? Kashmir has been integral part of India since 5,000 years from the time of K, uh, Sage Kashyapa, and now some nation was uh, given uh, what is a status as a nation okay. in 1947, August 14, by due to other political factors. Kashmir doesn't Prashant. belong to them. Prashant, so, and Prashant, if Prashant. Nitasha is taking this line, we can't let her enter into country and then say, "Look, okay. you come here, okay. abuse us. I'll give you a hearing, and then the court will send you back." No, look. Okay, 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 okay. Started, so we have okay, done the right okay. thing. Okay, one minute, one minute. Asad, you want a line to add, and then I want to go to Sanjay. Yes, Asad, yes, yes. Yeah. Prashant, my friend, how do you know what she is going to speak? She is there to speak about unity of India Constitution. Ah, yeah, it is on record what she has done. Please, sir. How let me come in okay. there. Okay? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Let me come in there with Sanjay with a question for Sanjay Chha. I actually pulled out her testimony to the U.S. Congress, Sanjay. Uh, we actually have that testimony, uh, and she—it's uh, in writing. She talks about what she calls the enforced silencing. I'm just quoting her. We can bring up those slides now. She talks about the enforced silencing of the people of Kashmir. These are her words, uh, not mine. Uh, she goes on to make the argument that India is not behaving like a democratic power, but more like a colonizing power. and it has flouted all principles of democracy this is her testimony at the us congress right sanjay so there's a fair amount of information pre available on what her politics are now of course people can have all kinds of opinions mohan das pai's argument is if she's an indian citizen her rights are different as a non citizen she has no right to come to the country with these opinions that are anti india i want you to respond i very much hope mr satya prakash is able to make his point uh, clearly after that sanjay jha do go ahead yeah barkha let me expose bjp's hypocrisy and some panelists by the way as well number one if the bjp is so convinced that she is anti national because of her deposition why wasn't her oci card cancelled long time ago like they have done of atish tasi they should have done that why now number one clearly is election time and i think people of india are very smart and i want bjp to answer that number 2 no one including the great scholar mr ray nobody has answered a question as to fali nariman who by the way none of us here can match who was critical of the article 370 judgment was he an anti national point number 3 the esteemed general who belongs to a foundation which i i do believe has very right leaning uh, you know tendencies politically uh should india break diplomatic ties because the us state departments if you have heard them in the past comment on kashmir please go and read kamala harris the now the current vice president or even joe biden on kashmir india should have no diplomatic relationships with america why why are we even talking taking arms from america okay let's get reactions to this please let's get reactions to this you no no one, yeah. one last okay. point one last point okay okay this okay. is a government this is a political party and a government when narendra modi actually try to promote a movie called the kashmir files and you know something when an israeli person it was an israeli person who came in the film jody you know just let me finish when he came and said that this entire film was concocted prejudiced 
and a complete political hot potato they filed an fir against him okay this sanjay i want to i need to get reactions i need to get reactions we'll start with mohan das spy or na pray general kadosh in that order Barka. yes yes mohan mohan go ahead Barka, do you respect her as an academic when she takes an activist extreme role without any balance without any logic without any data she is a she is a person who is doing a hit job with isi money going round with all those people you know that five fellow who was caught by the fbi right she is part of the same network look at all the all the data that available on her she speaks in the same forums she takes money from all of them i mean that's the kind of person yes i agree with uh, sanjay shah that they should have cancelled the rosia card much earlier at the mistake the government has done i agree with them probably there the illusion that you know let them be there what does it matter they were very liberal they shouldn't be liberal but the fact remains she is not in academic an academic is a person who does a job based on logic reason and data she is an extremist extreme activist pandering to the pakistani isi and is very clear what she is doing and do you want her to come here and then Malik, last point Malik, Malik, if, last someone, if someone Malik, is if someone is funded by the isi we, they should not be given an oci card at all absolutely if i some, agree is agree is a root cause and barkat the last point Just but i'm saying but i'm saying ba ba was there a homework Barka, done Barka, i'm saying, I'm saying point, it's a barkat yes. i agree okay. barkat look a party which claims to have one freedom for india and that party has never existed after 69 now is asking academic to come who is questioning the legitimacy of india's rule and about kashmir and saying kashmir is not an integral part they must be very foolish how can the congress do this congress stood for kashmir congress always said kashmir is an integral part of india they fought against others they fought for many years to keep kashmir together causing no congress fought wars against pakistan and now they're doing all this what kind of okay. is this okay 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 we have a comment okay, from quick. a viewer miss yeah okay. give me a second five seconds a quick comment okay. on that Yes. Okay. See, and as to why the OCI could not have been done earlier, see, we do understand it. It should have been done earlier. But I recall from the Supreme Court judgment in Baroda Distributors that the justice commented that just because I was unconsciously wrong yesterday does not mean I should be consciously wrong today. Therefore, I, just I, because we did not cancel our OCI registration earlier does not mean no, we can I'm let our saying, anti-national step in. I, 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 I am just saying that if we believe that somebody, as a country, we believe somebody is funded by the ISI, the good thing to do would be to issue a statement in public domain saying, "So and so has been sent back because we have evidence, investigation, something to believe that this is the reason that she sent back." Tell the people of the country why this is happening. It's a very serious charge to call someone a Pakistani sympathizer. I think people have the right to know the why and the how of it. Mr. Prakash, to be fair, Orna, with your permission, because he's been trying to make his point. I'm really hoping your audio is better. If it is, please make your point briefly. Yeah. Satya Prakash of the Congress. Yes. Yeah, what I'm saying, Barka, is I'm talking about two things. One is this government is not able to hear me. In a, in a, in a, no, 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 no. We can hear you, but there's a crackle in it. Make your point, though. Make your point. You make your point. You make your point. Okay, I, I make my point very fast <laughs> until network goes back. Okay. Two things are more okay. important. This Modi government should understand the difference between criticism of the state and criticism of the country. Criticizing Modi on his policies, on his policies on Kashmir, is not criticism of India. Modi is not. Idea is not Modi. This is point number one that I want to tell. Second point is, if at all there was some problem with this lady in tune with cooperative federalism, why hasn't the Home Minister informed the Karnataka state till date? If they had informed the Karnataka state, this economy would not be there where they would have invited her. That means the central government has failed. Were you aware, Barka, that as a journalist, that she was under the hit list and she can't enter India? Can you please answer me this question, or Mr. Mona, can you answer okay. this question? That was he aware that okay. she okay. was in the hit list and she can't enter India? Okay, that, I think you've raised a valid Modi. point, and Mr. Prakash, you, although your line is terrible, we were able to get the gist of all your comments, so I'm repeating them. Modi is not India. India is not Modi. Criticism of the state is not the same as criticism of the government. If indeed there is reason to believe that there are Pakistan ISI links, then in the spirit of cooperative federalism, the centre, the Home Minister, should have dialed the state authorities and said, 
hang on, this person is blacklisted. We've got the gist of your points through a very bad line. Uh, Prashant, you've got to hold your horses now. I need to get Ornab and General Katoj. Hang on, Mr. Prakash, we can barely hear you, but I've got all of your points. Ornab, go ahead. Ornab, go ahead. I'm just, I'm just retorting since Mr. Jha took my name. Um, again, I'm, I'm not dribbling like Ronaldo here like he is. But the point is, it is not a question of dissent. It is not a question of whether somebody is pro-Modi or against Modi. There are hundreds of academics who are flying in every day, speaking at different late fests, and are talking and are saying that this country is, is not a democracy. It's, 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 it's an autocracy. There's Nazism. Nobody's saying anything about that. This person has called India a colonizing power. There is a huge difference. Now, maybe Congress didn't do their research and they just called her because she's against Modi. That could be the case. But that is the problem here. Please do understand it is not everything is not pro-Modi, anti-Modi. There are some other issues also, which once Congress used to recognize when they were in power. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll, yeah, Sanjay briefly and then General Katoch. Yeah, Sanjay, yeah. go ahead. I need to tell him that the reason why I'm actually a Messi, not a Ronaldo, uh, you know, the reason why I, I took your name is because you took mine. And I think I have a right to tell you that in, in a democracy, a political party, when they invite somebody, they do it to start with what is called as good faith. You understand that? Which is why I raised a fundamental question to which nobody has an answer. That if Narendra Modi's government really believed that she was an anti-national and a Pakistani sympathizer, that they should have never given her the OCI card to begin That's with. That's exactly what I said. If you Why the hypocrisy? I, Just because there is an now, election you know, coming up? what I said. That is exactly Just because there is an I election started. coming up? That is exactly okay. how I started my argument that she should not have been given an OCI card. Were you not listening to what I was saying? Was okay, uh, but argument. I think... I think I, I think Anjay. the Congress spokesperson. One minute, Prashant. I think the Congress spokesperson has a valid question for you, though he's because of his uh, bad network, not able to. He, he keeps dropping off. Uh, let me ask it, therefore, uh, you know, to you, Prashant. If the center, the investigative agencies, have information that somebody is linked to the ISI, cooperative federalism should mean the police, the officials, the bureaucrats of the center, hot dial. The, the 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 authorities, the DGP in Karnataka, and say, you know what, this person is a problem. This is the reason this person is a problem. We've not seen that happen, which makes it seem the Congress would argue political. Prashant, brief response because the others are really yes. waiting. See, yes. cooperative federalism may work for different factors, but not for national security. When you're talking about the sovereignty of the country and interest of Bharat as a whole, we need not call up the center. Need not call up the. DGP or IG and say, look, somebody is coming, please take care. They have all their controls at their might. They will do what is necessary to uphold the integrity and sovereignty of the country, okay. which is what the Ministry of Home Affairs has okay. done. So it is not okay. about being uh, uh, anti-cooperative federalism. Country. And we also believe in territorial nationalism. Okay. Congress okay. could have had territorial nationalism. They should have called somebody who is for the country, talks well of the country, let them have a good debate as to what good policies to be brought in, but so not to anti so people. My so let Prashant, me... Have terror attacks not happened after Article 370 abrogation? Sanjay Jha, here's the question. See, we would have here's done even question. better. If the moment right. you stop Five sympathizing down. with terrorists, Five, India would Five be a down. better country. Congress Five stop down. doing it. You are the one who bats Sanjay. for terrorism. That took it to break against your party. Your home minister was roaming about when the uh, 26 11 happened, what was he right, doing there in the hotel with film makers? Okay. So, are, okay. are you saying that you actually supported them? Okay. Yes, to our are you forgetting what happened on 26 divided November 2008? When the Home Minister divided roaming about the okay, can, you all, can you all stop it now, please? Divide and rule politics. Please. 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 You have, yeah, you have to I move must, on from. I must request. What do you say? I don't like shouting. I don't. I don't like raising my voice, so I'm going to request both of you to pipe down and I want to bring in General Katoj and then Asad and then we'll take last comments. Please, let's make another attempt to get Mr. Sathya Prakash back. I, I feel a little bad that he's not been able to make his arguments cogently. Uh, Asad and then General Katoj. Asad? Uh, Barkha, you know, very uh, state points. As a citizen of this country, I truly believe that the Bharatiya Janata Party must have cancelled the OCI card and never allowed this to happen. Why? Because my country is seen as a Vishwa Guru today. This paints a bad picture. Also, as a matter of fact, yes, the Congress party must have done their due diligence. I really call out the organizers who have not done enough research on Natasha Call and her extreme views. Knowing the yeah. BJP, they would do things which wouldn't allow. And BJP has also heard if Vijayendra, the uh, 
who's the current uh, head of bjp here in karnataka state would have done this protested if she said something wrong and taken you know filed her taken you didn't give a chance that would have been a better measure okay 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 okay, 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 okay. So prashant 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 don't interrupt everybody else general katoch general katoch general katoch then satyaprakash is back so we'll try him and we'll take last comments from everybody then general katoch sir please go ahead uh, abarka i've just got two points you know firstly let you know i don't want to get into the political debate because Uh, you know, we are a, we are a um, uh, 1.4 billion country, and if you think that everything is going to run perfectly as per a machine, and you know something has happened, and you we have uh, you know preempted it and cancelled the OCI card, I'm afraid it doesn't work that way. You know, in a, even in small organisation like the Indian Army, it doesn't work that way, and they are very efficient organisations. So we have to cater for that. Things don't work in clockwork in a big democracy. but the second point which i thought you know uh, i need to mention you know uh, which is a very puerile argument which mr jha made he said kamla harris and others have been critical of india so should we should, uh, should we break diplomatic relations with them i mean how is that coming to the argument at all i, I, I amongst the many absurd things which i have heard today this certainly takes the cake why should we why should we break off diplomatic relations because a foreign power is criticizing us i I, I, i think i think the i think the point is that you engage with our opinions that are actually much no. more inimical or hostile Obviously, that's no, no. maybe I, i understand that we engage with opinions right but we yeah. do not within uh, we do not invite those people to come to india to abuse us that is the difference Yes. So, okay. Uh, Because of our okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 You're all speaking together. I, I can. I can hear Sanjay saying we do, but Sanjay, hold on to that thought. Mr. Satya Prakash, uh, I re. I. I'm doing the job of recapping your arguments through a bad uh, audio line. Uh, so let's give it a last shot. Yeah, we we yeah, got most you. of your arguments, by the way. Yeah. Go ahead. I want to put one point. Uh, tomorrow, let us understand that no Mohan Das Pai talks something against. US invasion of Iraq or no Kuwait or something. Let us. I think that Mondas Pai should not be invited to USA at all. Tomorrow, Mr. Mondas Pai or the general talks something Got against Ukraine, Russia is, and its invasion yeah, of Ukraine. Yes, yes. That means Mondas Pai and the general. I got it. I got it. Your line is. I'm Please interrupting. I'm, I'm interrupting you only because your line is. Barkha. I got. I got. I got. I got Mr Prakash your line is terrible but let me repeat your question you said tomorrow if Mohan Das Pai or the general criticizes America does it mean they can't enter to America but tomorrow yeah. if they criticize Russia's invasion of Ukraine does it mean Barka. they should be denied an entry let's start last comment Mohan Das Pai will start with you yes Barka we are not demented people activist people like that Natasha we are reasonable people born to logic who understand global issues who behave appropriately Now look at the irony. You are inviting a person who has denied the territorial integrity of India, saying Kashmir is uh, been occupied by India, which is against the constitution. In an event where we are talking about protecting the constitution, all of us as citizens have an obligation to protect the constitution, which says very clearly Kashmir is the integral part of India. Now a diplomat can say whatever they want. We can engage the diplomat. We can engage the country. This is an academic who has been bought over by the Pakistani ISI, who has been writing for a number of years against. But India. why not? Why doesn't it? the government? Why doesn't the government tell the people why she is a part? Tell us something. No. Is, right now we're only it. reading. Right that now is, we're only reading on X that she is a Pakistani Barka, funded Barka, person. Is, we have no. Barka, the, yeah. That is the ham-handed, ham-handed attitude of bureaucracy. Who tries to to fob up all these things? I agree with you. They should have told us why they're doing and told exactly what she's done. I'm sure the security force have a dossier on her. They should release the dossier like they went to court for the Swain. Remember the Swain fellow who is an academic, supposed to be an academic from uh, that Upala University. They went to court and the court they said we got all the dossier, we got this, this, that, this thing. They should have done that. I agree with you. Okay, let me uh, uh, let me uh, actually say there's a lot of uh, sympathy for Satya Prakash's uh, internet connection in our uh, in our comment section on a lighter note. Uh, so, Mr. Prakash, a lot of people did want to hear you, but we're just not able to hear you. So, I'm uh, I'm going to come to Prashant for the last com his last comment, Prashant ji. To Asad's point, both of the parties made a mistake. The Congress in inviting. the bjp in completely saying such big things like pakistani sympathizer anti india siddarmayya anti india without putting any evidence in the public domain it comes across as ham handed even mr pai is saying that it is tell the people what the reasoning you know apart from her right things previously tell the people of india something more 
see people will get to know the truth and people always and the people of the country always stand with our country and here is a thing wherein you are saying that OCA should have been cancelled I agree that just because somebody was unconsciously wrong yesterday does not mean we must be consciously wrong today we have realized that yes maybe at that point in time when she was entering in the past she had a free uh, passage to India in the past decade or so now it's a little difficult she cannot uh, any longer come here and abuse India and get back. Now they okay. are feeling the heat. They were uh, sponsored by the state earlier. Now they are not getting those benefits. Okay, Sanjay so therefore, Sanjay they are feeling this. And probably if the procedure Sanjay. had to be better, it will be better. We will ensure that next time onwards, these anti-nationals won't even dream of setting a uh, foot here. We will ensure that. Sanjay Jha. We will protect Sanjay the sovereignty and integrity of the country. Got, got it. Sanjay Jha. Barkha, once again, the double standards of the BJP. You know, they talk in Jammu and Kashmir about the problems of the Kashmiri Pandits. This lady is a Kashmiri Pandit. She has a right to her own independent opinion. No, again, what is the point? Please read her. Wait, just please, a minute. Sandhya, please uh, read her comment. Yeah. Barkha, will you I stop, think... will you stop <laughs> him from interrupting me, please? Okay, okay. <laughs> this is no, 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 you know, so, you're being such a comment. I want to tell, I want to tell you that. you can respond after he speaks. Let him speak. You can respond yeah. after he speaks. Sanjay, go ahead. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Yes. And which is the point? You should hear the number of Kashmiri Pandits who stay in Jammu and Kashmir who have exposed BJP's lip service and how they use Kashmiri oh, Pandits including in a Bollywood film to try and make a political statement. This is the tragedy of our times. The second point and the last point, under watch of this government, Barkha, we saw that tragic sight of an 84-year-old man, Stan Swami, who died because of his illness, not even given a straw. And oh, and very long, very long. Oh, 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 oh. Not been over yet. What a shame. Okay, okay. All right. Indian soldiers lose life. life because of your uh, petty politics. And now you're trying to sympathize with somebody who's always been okay. anti-India. And you wanted an anti-India okay. national to yes. come here and talk. I, 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 I think that we must be very clear yeah. in separating all. Asad but and I honor. I the put my last point. Okay, Mr. Prakash. We'll allow I want you. to put my last point. Because your line is very... Okay. He is a PM who boasts of a 56 inches chest. So, so on Vishnu Guru. No, no, Sathya no. Prakash, we don't want to talk about some vitals of your uh, leader. I can't hear. Prashant, yeah, let him yeah. speak. Yeah. I can anyway not hear him. Please let him speak. Yes. Sir, I can't hear you. Please unmute Mr. Prakash. And to what a woman, a woman professor has to say. Is he I'm so sorry. I'm not able to understand I'm because of the technology. Yes, Asad. Yeah, Asad. Asad, Asad. Asad. It's unfortunate yeah. that uh, a Congress spokesperson is not able to practice his freedom of speech. You know, we know it's a technicality, not more. But time. hello. No, you can't blame me for that. I have tried <laughs> no, multiple no, times to give him, give him space. Of yes. course, Barkha, it's a technical. Yes. He's got a technical. Yes. Maybe a phone yes. of this. Now, coming straight yes. to the point, Barkha, what hurts me is, you know, this paints the country in a wrong picture. I'll tell you, this starkly reminds me of my comedian friend, Munawar Faruqi, who was arrested, yeah. taken to jail, FIR, without him speaking a word. He should have been allowed yeah. to make a statement or his comic set up. Mm -hmm. What I tell you one thing, Netasha call. You can't take and to walk us and get her, away. I'm against her. Why, 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 bro, chill. So I truly believe that allow her to speak if she says even a single word against the sovereignty of my beautiful country, file a case, arrest her, deport her, do what you have to do. But without hearing the person, you cannot just take a stand like that. Okay, General Guru, a wrong picture. Okay, General Katoch, are we sending out the image of our country being so insecure and, you know, Prickly that we can't take a few people's opinions. Does it really impact us? That's the question. Uh, the world or sections of the Western world will certainly say that India is being illiberal, being undemocratic. General Katoch, last thoughts. Uh, Barkha, one thing I want to make very clear. Over the last 10 years, and I meet with foreign nationals on a, on a very regular basis, the image of India has never been higher abroad. Please go and visit all the NRIs uh, 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 visit the Indians who are living in Singapore, in the States, or anywhere else. The way India is looked at today by foreign countries is different to what they were looked at 10 years ago. Let there be no doubts about that. In foreign policy, I think this government has achieved the best 
of, of be, be, the best of all. Now, Mr. Jha will say, okay, this chap belongs to the right wing, India Foundation and all that. He's entitled to his views because as part of India Foundation, we respect the views of others. We, I take part in debates with all of them. The problem, the problem really today is that the left are ideological dictators. They are not prepared to listen to anybody or any opinion other than their own. And the day they change, India will change. India's, India's got a very high pedestal today. And I think that is going to remain okay. and that is due to what has happened in the last 10 years. Barkha. Okay, Mo Mohan, before I give Ardnath the closing comment, if you wanted to, you, I could see you wanting to come in. You know, Barkha, the issue is very simple. Should India allow a person who questions the territorial integrity of India, being a person of Indian origin, has the history of writing against India for a long number of years, parrots the Pakistani ISI line, hobnob with all these terrorist organizations outside India, denies the Pandit Holocaust, Pandit Holocaust and genocide which happened in Kashmir, despite being a Pandit, should you allow it to come to a state where they are talking about protecting the constitution? I think that's the fundamental question. Government of India did right. Now, they could be ham and there. They should have told us what is the reason, etc. They didn't do it. Yes, you must point fingers at them and tell them when you send people back, be please give an explanation so the world understands why you're okay. doing and what you're doing. That's the right thing. But, you know, not allowing her in was the right decision. Okay. Sanjay Jha, one sentence that Ardham has the closing word. I really have to close. Sanjay Jha. Yes. I can't hear Sanjay Jha. Can we unmute him? Yeah, yeah, go Neither ahead. the general nor Mohan Das Pai answered my simple statement. The BJP as a political party has become a master at branding people who oppose them. So a police officer of the Indian police service is insulted in Kolkata because he's a Sikh. He's called a Khalistani terrorist. That is the shame that BJP brings no, to our country. Bar 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 no, 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 Bar let me answer that. Narrative. Fake narrative. You know, Adendru Adhikari has given a call that, you know, you show me the evidence. Otherwise, evidence, yes. File a defamation suit. You know, you show the evidence. There's no evidence. You go and see, listen to all the This people. is Sanjay Jha. No he talks without okay. evidence. No evidence at all. Okay, this is not this is the claim made by the police officer. You're denying it. Let's and let's Barka five yes. Barka five seconds. I again yeah, okay. urge Sanjay Jha to talk to his good friend Mamta Banerji and ask her where Shah Jahan Sheikh is. What is West Bengal police doing for 50 okay. days? Sanjay okay. Jha, are you also shielding him? Are you aware of his whereabouts and not telling the government of India where he is? Are you with Mamta Banerjee and hiding him? Please come out and tell. The public I wants to know. Okay. 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 Wants okay. To know. okay. All right. All right. I think I think I think it's quite clear that Sheikh Shah Jaha is not sitting just off camera next to Sanjay Jha. So let's move on and get the closing word uh, from Ornav Ray. I think there's an interesting point raised actually by Asad that both parties seem to have blundered and we have to separate the politics from the appropriateness or the proportion of the response, right? That's that's the point. And I think somebody made the point here. I think you made the point, Ornab, that her career has been made. Nobody would have, I mean, now she would say she, that her career was already made. She didn't need this. But the point is today we are talking about her, right? And if she hadn't been deported, perhaps very little attention would have been paid to her opinions as offensive as they might be to many, many Indians. Last word to you. Yes, so this is all about the strice and defect. But there's just one final thing that I just wanted to say. There's a huge distinction between what Kamala Harris and Joe Biden says and what she says. First of all, they've never mm -hmm. doubted the territorial integrity of India. And there's a larger point. If we engage with such people, we engage with them as part of their positions. So if Natasha Call tomorrow comes back as the prime minister of UK, we would have to engage with her. But here we're talking about her as a private citizen. and We have the exact right to do what we did. There's a, there's a vital difference. That's the closing co comment that I have. I, I, I would like to say thank you to everybody, including to Mr. Satya Prakash, who made several valiant attempts to join this conversation. But I hope I did an efficient job of recapping his arguments. Thank you very much to Ornav, to Asad, to General Katoch, Mohandas Pai, to Satya Prakash, to Prashanji, and to Sanjay Jha. I think the bottom line is this. The politics, they raise a question mark. Two months before elections, did the Karnataka government fail to do its homework? Why did even think to court controversy. Miss Cole has the right to her opinions, but why would a political party want to mainstream those opinions at a government-organized conference? That said, 
if there are really grave links to the Pakistani ISI and, and other serious charges that have been made apart and beyond from her political opinions, the authorities that decided that she should not be allowed to step foot in India can be transparent in their findings and share with the public at large as to why they felt the need to do what they did. That said, the debate carries on. What are the rights of an OCI citizen? Are they different from an Indian citizen? Absolutely. But other countries, some are more generous, some less than us. The jury is still out on this one. Thank you very much to our panel. Have a great evening and to our audience. Thank you for watching. Mojo Story has always made a commitment to its viewers to go to where the story is. And as you can see here, we are at the epicenter of the Israel war on Gaza. We are right at the front line, about one mile from the Gaza Strip, as is the Israeli military gets ready with its tanks and its gunners to begin its final frontal assault that will take troops into Gaza. As we said, we are not like other organizations. We believe in giving you all sides of the story objectively and as much as possible from the ground. And that's exactly what we're doing here, covering the biggest global story today from the epicenter of the war zone. So please, we need your support. Support us, become a Mojo member, subscribe to us, spread the word and thank you for your support.